Police are searching for leads as they look for two suspects who robbed a South Fargo gas station at gunpoint. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Lisa Badeau. The robbery happened last night around 10.45 at the All Stop gas station near West Acres Mall in Fargo. Officers say two men entered the store and demanded money. One showed a pistol. Luckily, no one was hurt. Police believe the men took off on foot and then, according to witnesses, appear to have gotten into a car. The suspects are described as one white male and one black male. Both were wearing dark clothing and masks. Officers are reviewing surveillance video for more possible clues. The co-pilot of the German Wings plane that crashed in the Alps earlier this week reportedly suffered from an undisclosed illness that he was currently being treated for. That's according to the German prosecutor's office, who also says they did not find a suicide note or anything claiming responsibility for the crash when they searched Andreas Lubitz's home. German media has been reporting that he was suffering from depression. Doctor's notes were found as well, excusing him from work in the days before and even on the day of the crash. Lubitz's employer says they had no warning signs and had no knowledge of anything wrong with him. Congressman Kevin Kramer released a statement this morning questioning the USDA's decision to force student-run restaurants at Fargo Davies and Fargo South High Schools to follow nutritional guidelines. Kramer wants the USDA to reconsider the decision and says the current nutrition standards set by the organization in 2012 are costly for school districts to implement. He also states support for students having the opportunity to get real-world experience in running a business and making food for customers. Kramer is a co-sponsor of the Reducing Federal Mandates on School Lunch Act, which gives local school districts flexibility with the nutritional guidelines. It was a cold start to the day, but a break from the wind makes it feel nice out there today. Let's check in with meteorologist Robert Hahn to see what we can expect. Hey, it's finally Friday, and we're all looking forward to the weekend. It is finally Friday, and a few of us are going to be seeing some flakes of snow. Some parts of the area already seeing that from Langdon down through Devil's Lake and Jamestown, seeing some light snow, and that will continue to spread off towards the east, and as it does so, it will eventually dissipate as it gets to the Red River Valley. So along and west of the Red River Valley, a chance for some snow today. Accumulations will remain on the light side, half an inch to an inch in most locations, but some isolated amounts, especially from the Devil's Lake Basin down towards the uh, James River Valley, we'll be seeing that chance for maybe up to two inches of snow. Now, we do have some cold temperatures out there, and that combination of cold temperatures and the snow is creating some slick spots where we are seeing that snow, and that will continue to slide off towards the east. Wind chills, despite winds being light, we're going to see those uh, wind chills in the teens and 20s warming up just a touch as we head through this afternoon. As we show you the uh, first couple of days of that seven-day forecast, that chance for some snow today, tomorrow warmer, with a chance for some late day rain that may end as some snow on a Sunday. We've got even warmer temperatures on that seven day forecast. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. Thank you, Robert. Mm -hmm. A Devil's Lake man charged with the murder of Ronald Foss near Viking, Minnesota, is still in a Devil's Lake jail, awaiting extradition to face charges in Minnesota. Foss was found beaten and stabbed to death at his home nearly two weeks ago. Ray Little Wolf was arrested in Devil's Lake, but declined to waive extradition to Minnesota at a hearing on Monday. Little Wolf told the court he wanted an attorney first. However, he still hasn't filled out the application to receive a court-appointed attorney. It's Friday, so let's take a look at this week's Valley's Most Wanted. Police say Nicholas Olson is wanted for conspiracy to commit forgery and shoplifting. There's pictures on your TV right now. Call local police if you have any idea where he is. Crews will begin work next week repairing the Tulna Dam. It's about 40 miles southeast of Devil's Lake. Two weeks ago, an emergency for downstream residents was declared after the dam started leaking. The water level has since been lowered and crews will start repairing the structure on Monday. Repairs are expected to be complete by mid-May. The $90,000 cost of the project is being picked up by the state of North Dakota. Memorial services will be held today for a beloved local war veteran. Stu Bass passed away on Tuesday at the age of 94. He was a World War II veteran and a key volunteer for years at the Fargo Air Museum. He worked for decades at American Crystal Sugar and had been a volunteer at the Air Museum since it opened. Services are being held at 2 this afternoon at the Fargo Air Museum. Don't forget to help your local Boy Scouts tomorrow. They're collecting non-perishable food items for their annual Scouting for Food Drive. 
They're asking community members to hang bags of food donations outside their front doors for collection tomorrow starting at 9 a.m. You can also drop items off at any Gate City Bank until next Tuesday. Hockey fans are paying big bucks online to snag tickets to the sold-out NCAA Men's Hockey West Regionals at Shields Arena this weekend. Tickets, as you probably know, sold out fast to the tournament that starts this afternoon. But we found people selling tickets for two, three, or four times the face value on Craigslist this afternoon. One poster is actually asking for $1,000 per ticket for a seat in a suite with all-you-can-eat and drink options. UND plays tonight at 7. The tournament actually starts at 3.30. Shields Arena only holds a little over 5,000 people, so of course a lot of hockey fans are having a hard time finding tickets. Remember, you can now get Valley News Live weather and news alerts right on your phone. Get the latest breaking news, weather, and other updates on your mobile device 24-7. Head to valleynewslive.com to sign up.